हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस जेनिक बैलेंस थ्योरी ऑफ सेक्स डिटर्मिनेशन व्हाट वी हैव लर्न इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव लर्न द क्रोमोजोमल थ्योरी ऑफ सेक्स डिटर्मिनेशन क्रोमोजोमल थ्योरी इज आल्सो नोन एज एलोजोमल थ्योरी बिकॉज इट इज बेस्ड ऑन द सेक्स डिटर्मिनेशन इज डॉन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द टाइप ऑफ एलोजोम और सेक्स क्रोमोजोम अंडर द chromosomal theory of sex determination we have gone through various mechanisms chromosomal mechanisms such as chromosomal theory have uh, different the mechanisms like male heterogamity of uh, sex determination and female heterogamity chromosomal uh, theory is also known as allogamal uh, theory of sex determination also known as heterogamity sex determination because it is based on mainly on the presence of type of allogamy or sex chromosome it is given by wilson and stevens in 1905 xx uh, that uh, male heterogamy is of two types xs xy mechanism xs x0 mechanism xs xy mechanism is also known as ligus mechanism okay it is seen in almost all mammals including human beings and drosophila and uh, in xx x0 mechanism this type of mechanism seen in round worms true box cockroaches and grasshopper okay here the in in both these mechanism males produces two type of gametes male heterogamy means males produces two type of gametes but here you see here the, the males are having two type of uh, two heteromorphic uh, sex chromosomes x and y but here you see the males are having one sex chromosome only the y sex chromosome is lacking maclong maclong observed that in female grasshoppers there are 24 chromosomes in female grasshoppers 24 chromosomes whereas in male grasshoppers 23 chromosomes only okay then he established the chromosome determines the sex uh, the number of chromosome chromosome determines the sex of the individual chromosome has the special role in the determination of the sex of an offspring female heterogamy in this the female produces two type of gametes there are two uh, mechanisms are there zwzz and zzzz in zwzz mechanism is seen in the vertebrates like fishes reptiles and birds okay the females produces that a plus z and a plus w two type of gametes two type of eggs zz to zz mechanism in uh, this mechanism the females are having only one type of sex chromosome and w sex chromosome is lacking here in these animals it is seen in let me lepidopterans this is the lepidoptera is an order and uh, under this order the moth and butterflies they show the z0 z0 mechanism we have also saw, gone through we have discussed the haplodiploid mechanism of sex determination it is seen in bees wasps and the ants generally this mechanism haplodiploid mechanism in honey bees it is called or it is uh, written as sex determination in honey bees it is asked like sex determination in honey bees then you have to answer haplodiploid mechanism it is seen in honey bees and we have discussed in this honey bees are three uh, having the three castes that is queen and worker they are the females and drone is the male the females are developed uh, from the fertilized egg and the drone is developed from the unfertilized egg that is parthenogenetically okay let us start the gene genetic balance of sex determination genetic balance theory of sex determination so far we have studied it is understood that the genes present on sex chromosomes that is on x and y or we can say z and w some genes not all the genes some genes present on the sex chromosomes they are entirely responsible for the determinations of the sex of the offspring 
For example, in human being, if the egg is fertilized by, for example, in case of human being, in human beings, if the egg is fertilized by, 22 plus X is the egg fertilized by a sperm containing 22 plus Y that by A that means this is an androsperm. Then male is produced. The offspring is male. Okay? Offspring is male. If the egg is fertilized by a gynosperm fertilized by a gynosperm means 22 autosome plus X chromosome. Here Y chromosome means androsperm and X chromosome. The sperm containing X chromosome means it is gynosperm. If the egg is fertilized by a gynosperm then a female is developed. The offsprings are female. Here the offspring is female. I am telling offspring. Okay. It should be same for the drosophila also. Because the, we have, uh, what we have learned. XXXY mechanism is seen in many mammals. In, including human being and drosophila. Drosophila melanogaster. But. This is not true always. In 1916, Calvin B. Bridges found in Drosophila melanogaster the genotype XXY determines the sex as the female. The genotype, when the genotype is XXY, of course, AA plus X. XXY means the sex chromosome. AA plus XXY genotype that develops into a female fly. Okay. In which insect uh, uh, he studied? He found in Drosophila melanogaster. Remember Drosophila melanogaster is known as the queen of the genetics because the mostly the geneticists they study and that drosophila fly, that fruit fly. Okay. After, that's why I am saying that it is not true always. It is not uh, the XXXY mechanism as it is uh, uh, understood that if Y is present, uh, the, the offspring is male. If X is uh, or, uh, present or we can say if Y is absent, only X is present, then it develops into female. It is not true always. In 1926, after studying, after observing the different abnormal genotypes in Drosophila, in the year 1926, Bridges put forward the genic balance theory. This theory states that instead of XY chromosome, the genic balance or we can say the genic balance or the ratio in between number of X chromosomes and the number of a haploid set of autosomes determines the sex in the zygote. Okay? What I told? After studying the number of Abnormal genotypes in Drosophila bridges put forward the genic balance theory in 1926 the theory states that instead of XY chromosome
the sex is determined by determined by the genetic balance balance of genes present on x chromosome and autosomes the genetic balance or the ratio in between in between the number of x chromosomes and the number of haploid set of autosomes in the zygote in the zygote the sex is established on the basis of the ratio in between the number of x chromosome and the number of haploid set of autosomes that means number of haploid set of autosomes means how many set of autosomes are there and stands for haploid set of chromosomes similarly uh, means in our uh, in human cells how many in human diploid cells how many haploid set of autosomes are present two haploid set in uh, when it is written only n means in the haploid organism how many set of autosomes one set of haploid haploid set of autosomes in 3n three haploid set of autosomes so it is told that the number of the number of x chromosome divided by the number of haploid set of autosomes that is we can say x by a we can write down x by a in the zygote stage it is determined whereas during the fertilizes only in human being the sex is established according to bridges y chromosome is heterochromatic we have said it euchromatin heterochromatin regions are present in uh, the uh, chromosomes even in y chromosome we have gone through the part of uh, that uh, heterochromatin and uh, euchromatin euchromatin means the the true chromatin means where the genes are active in transcription they code for the protein whereas the heterochromatin region the genetic uh, elements of uh, the genes are inactive so according to bridges y chromosome is heterochromatic and inactive in sex determination according to him y chromosome is hetero chromatic hence and so so it is inactive it is inactive in sex determination but remember it is required for fertility okay fertile capacity of the fly this ratio is uh, termed as sex index ratio it is expressed as the sex index ratio is equal to number of x chromosomes by number of
haploid set of autosomes that equal to x by a. The genes for according to bridges genes for femaleness are located on X chromosome genes for maleness located on autosomes then what is the function of y chromosome which genes are present on uh, y chromosome yes the genes for male fertility are located on y chromosome okay y chromosome has the additional function y chromosome has the additional function like the spermatogenesis and the development of reproductive organs additional functions like like spermatogenesis development of gametes spermatogenesis and development of reproductive organs okay so y chromosome is essential hence we can say y chromosome is essential for the fertility of male but it is inactive for sex determination let us discuss some ratios when x by a equal to 1 then the sex of the fly sex is female normal diploid female normal female normal diploid female when x by it may be diploid triploid or tetraploid but we can say normal female when x by a is equal to less than 1 or we can say equal to 0.5 then the sex is male then it is male if x by a equal to less than less than 1 and more than less than 1 and greater than 0.5 then the sex is established as intersex when x by v a value is equal to less than 0.5 then super male super male or meta male 
is developed. If the x by a is equal to greater than 1, then the super female or super female or meta female is produced. Again, I am saying there is a, just remember two clauses. If it equal, it is the x by a equal to 1, then it is a female more than 1, super female. If it is x by a equal to 0 0.5, then it is male, normal male. If it is less than 0 0.5, then super male. Okay, here I have written super, super male. If it is lying in between 0 0.5 to 1, less than 1 and greater than 0 0.5, then it is the sex of, of the fly is intersex. Okay, let us discuss in a table form. When chromosome complement is 2a plus xx, then ratio x by a is 2 by 2 set of autosomes by 2 equal to 1. Then sex is normal. normal female. Okay. When the setup uh, autosome is 2, 3x chromosome means 3 by 2 that equal to 1.5. It is more than the value is uh, ratio is uh, 1.5. So, it is super or meta female. Super female or meta female. When 3 set up a haploid set up autosome and 3x chromosome. That means 3 by 3 that equal to 1. But it is not a normal female. It is a female sterile. Sterile female. Here 4 by 4x chromosome. 4 set up autosome. 4 by 4 equal to 1. Here also uh, sterile triploid female we can write down. Sterile triploid female. Here sterile or you can write down in the bracket also tetraploid female but sterile. This is normal diploid female, diploid female. Here, X chromosomes are 2 and number of set up autosomes are 3. 2 by 3 equal to, it gives the value 0 0.67. That means this intersex. Sex is determined as intersex. 2a by xy, 1 by 2, 1x chromosome by 2 set, set up autosomes equal to 0 0.5 normal deployed male. Here, x chromosome is 1 by 3 set up, haploid set up autosomes. That's why 1 by 3 equal to 0 0.33. Here, the super or meta males. These super females and super males are not uh, that uh, fertile, not extra fertile or like that. They are also sterile. The super males, super females and super males, they are also sterile, not fertile. The Edward O. Dudson described these the super females and males as Edward O. Dudson described this. Super females and
मेल सुपर सुपर मेल्स एड्स ग्लैमर बॉयज ग्लैमर गर्ल्स एंड ग्लैमर बॉयज ऑफ द फ्लाई वर्ल्ड ओके नेक्स्ट वी विल डिस्कस द गायनाड्रोमर 